HIMSS 2012. I'm in the Cerner booth with Matt Wildman, Director of Sales for Cerner Ambulatory. Matt, thank you for taking the time. Yeah, happy to be here. Matt, what is the uh, biggest concern that you are hearing from the physician users that Cerner has right now? It's a great question. They, um, they are being inundated with so many rules and regulations and, uh, and things that they just don't have a, a complete comprehension of. Um, and meaningful use stage two, when are those regulations going to come out? What does that mean for their practice? Can they, can they achieve those standards? ICD-10, we, we just kind of moved through the, uh, the transfer to 5010 at the beginning of the year. So all of those items are just consuming their, their time to go figure out what, what that means for their practice and how they'll continue to operate in the new world. So even though all of the regulations basically are imposed against the physicians, is it in fact the EHR manufacturers who have to absorb the shock, so to speak, and make it work? Well, we believe it's our responsibility to provide the technology for them to get them through kind of the new world order and, and providing health care to their patients. And, uh, and that's really the partnership that we form with our clients in terms of helping them navigate uh, this market and get them through 5010 and ICD-10 and meaningful use. Certainly not our core strategy in terms of where we're, uh, we wake up every day and, and iterate our technology just based on those components. We're doing those as a meets minimum um, as a partner of our clients. But what we really spend a lot of time thinking about is um, kind of iterating our technology and moving it forward in a way that creates a much more seamless uh, user experience for the providers, uh, allows them to practice safer medicine uh, and treat their patients more completely. How much of your client base is hospital and how much is uh, standalone physician practices? We've got about 45,000 physicians today using our ambulatory solution. Obviously, we enjoy a significant presence in the acute space across the country, and so we've leveraged those partnerships to go extend our reach out into the communities and uh, market our capabilities to those standalone affiliated providers of those hospitals. But I'd say uh, between 20 and 25,000 of our 45,000 physicians are standalone practices. We we range anywhere from the single doc practice all the way up to 800 plus providers using our, our capabilities today. Do you think Cerner is such a mega company, it's so big that there's a misunderstanding that you only service the big enterprises? We're proud of our history. We've been focused on healthcare for the last 33 years and we have organically grown uh, inside the acute space automating the entire continuum of, of, of a hospital. About 15 years ago, we moved out into the ambulatory venue and have spent a lot of time focusing on that care venue as well. Uh, and I do think it's it's a perception that we're working on and make, ensuring that uh, the market knows that we are a very um, strong player in the ambulatory market. We Last year, we, we had uh, an unbelievable year. We grew our network by more than 10,000 providers, uh, grew our business more than 60% year over year. And so we're very excited about what we see in the market. We're very excited about our position in the market and our prospects of continuing to grow at a rapid rate. So in the late 90s, I believe, you came out with your ambulatory product, Millennium, and now you have Millennium Plus. Take me through the differences. Millennium is, Millennium is our core architecture, patient-centered architecture, following a patient across their entire healthcare experience. What we've announced this week at Hims um, is the next evolution of Millennium, where we're taking the power of that Millennium architecture, moving it up into the cloud, um, and providing fast, smart, easy technology for our providers um, to really automate the process uh, that they go through to, to document an encounter uh, and make that so simple and transparent that you really don't need much training at all just to pick up the technology and, and start practicing. The, uh, one of the components of Millennium Plus is what we call Power Chart Touch. So we are, we're showing uh, our current and prospective clients this week our native iPad application that we're developing we're working with beta clients uh, this month and next, and it'll be generally available this spring, uh, to really take in a full encounter experience in an iPad and with just the swap of your finger, document an entire encounter. We think, uh, we, we believe that we will actually be able to document an entire encounter faster than you could do it on paper. What do you see as the challenges for an EHR company in uh, providing a cloud-based service? Are there special challenges? I From a security standpoint? Uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity in terms of what we can do when we move the data up into the cloud. And as, as, we, as we continue to move the market forward, what we, what we need 
is more interoperability across providers. It's it's a little silly that I can put my ATM card in an ATM in Las Vegas, and that that knows more about my personal situation than uh, the hospital down the street here. So by by moving all of this data up into the cloud, we're providing much much better levels of interoperability across communities, so that as a provider. Uh, I can make better treatment decisions in real time and I'm actually being pushed clinically relevant information to myself at the point of care in a way that just hasn't happened before. Do you think that solving the interoperability problem is going to be industry driven, government driven, or a combination? I think it'll be a combination of, of all of the above. And uh, But our role in that is to go prove the value and start to display this, this levels of interoperability across the country and just create groundswell of, of an understanding of what the value of interoperability can provide. And once there's more awareness and uh, realism around that, I think that uh, we'll have a combination of industry and regulation uh, impact on interoperability. Do you think we're going to see a consolidation in the market? And do you think that might be part of the fear that keeps interoperability from being actualized? We have already seen a significant consolidation in the industry and we'll continue to do so with the with the standards getting more and more rigid. Organizations that have played in this space uh, for some time can't, may not be able to necessarily comply with those standards. There's, there's consolidation through mergers and acquisitions. One of the things that we saw last year uh, uh, that we're very excited about is our ability to go displace other uh, competitive EMR solutions uh, that have been in place for 10 plus years in, in certain circumstances. So last year we displaced every single one of our primary competitors uh, somewhere across the country and of the 10,000 providers that we added last year, over 2,000 of them came from displacements. So we're very proud of, of that and what that means uh, from our perspective is the, the reaction that the, the market is um, giving to the evolution of our capabilities and, and what we can provide them. What are you doing right? <laughs> Good question. We're, we're doing a lot of things right. We're, we, um, we still continue to learn. What we do um, is really engage our physician community and partner with them in a way uh, that allows them to drive a lot of the thought leadership behind what we go do next. Um, and we have a lot of ideas, um, and we've, we've been working really hard over the past few years to go implement those ideas and, and work with our physician community to go provide the best possible technology we can um, to help them practice medicine. And, and I think that's resonated very well with our partners, and that's that's a key reason why uh, we retain our clients forever. We we don't we don't while we're displacing our primary competitors, we're not losing business to our competitors uh, because they feel like they've got a true partner in Cerner um, to evolve along this journey with them. How mobile is EHR technology going to get? <laughs> It needs to get very mobile very quickly. I think that's a key theme of, of what I've seen at HIMSS this year, uh, walking around the floor, is just the importance of mobility, not just mobility on your cell phone, but whether it's an iPad or the healthcare is pervasive, it's all around us. It doesn't exist in a, in a single venue at a single point in time. So the need to go uh, have access to that clinical information wherever you may be uh, is vitally important. Part of Millennium Plus and Power Chart Touch is taking taking the power millennium and moving it into a mobile uh, platform on the iPad, and, and so we're very excited about that. Matt, thank you very much. Thank you. It's been great. Good to be with you. I'm Ann Fishman at Hims 2012 with Matt Wildman, Director of Sales, Cerner Ambulatory. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to walk you through a demo of quickly of Cerner's Power Chart Touch solution. What I'm looking at here is the command center view. As you can see, I can see the patient, my entire schedule as the day, any messages or reminders that have come in, medications that might need to be reviewed. I'm going to go ahead and pull up my schedule for today. I can see which patients are on the schedule for the day, as well as any hospital rounds I might have. Brian Dodds is coming in today, so I'm going to go ahead and select him. From here, I can review anything that, that might be pertinent to Brian in terms of his problem list, his current med list. I can dive a little bit deeper into Brian's chart and review his problems as well as historical vitals, measurements, any historical laboratory results or documents that might need to review. I can get a little bit more detailed into Brian's chart where I can review his demographic information. I can also view any tasks that might be assigned to me from a nurse or from an MA within the practice. Jumping into his um, vitals and measurements, I can trend and graph right from the screen so I can review his temp. I can also review his blood pressure in a graphical manner. 
I can tag pertinent laboratory results. So I can see here that this potassium level is something I wanted to check out. I might want to tag it for further review in my documentation. Same thing with this glucose level. I can view it and I can quickly tag it so I can review it a little bit later today. I can review his historical notes. I can see what was done, what my impression and plan looked like, and always return right back to this summary screen for quick review. Brian's coming in today for an abnormal rash on his wrist, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch into that. I could always take a picture of it if necessary, so I can take a quick picture using the, ca the camera that's native to the application and put that right into the chart as well. I can add that to the problem list for him, so I'm gonna quickly add that contact dermatitis right in here and make it a permanent place within his chart. Now I can go ahead and create an order. I'm gonna give him some prednisone for that particular rash, so I'm gonna go ahead and create that order, all working right here from my iPad. Simply select that order and go ahead and route it over to the pharmacy. Now as you can see, that problem has been added to this patient's problem list as contact dermatitis, where I can quickly review that pic picture that I took as well as the order that was placed and routed electronically over to the pharmacy. So I'm going to go ahead and start my note for today's visit. I did want to point out that you can utilize voice recognition software as well, so a lot of physicians like to dictate their notes. Um, you can use a hybrid model, you could dictate certain portions, use structured documentation as well as using free text and just typing directly into the application and having that information populate the screen. I'm going to go ahead and use a quick macro for my review of systems, mark those down as everything looks good for this particular patient. Again, giving you the ability to use that voice recognition software and quickly dictate any sort of information regarding this patient's condition. I'm going to go ahead and load that picture right in here because I want that for additional documentation at a later date and include the picture into my note for today's visit. Moving through my note, I can preview what my note's looking like. So quickly see everything looks good for today and move right back into my note to go ahead and sign it for today's visit.